Hey everybody, Jared here from the Smoking Android once again. Uh, so today we're going to be taking a look at how to install Flipboard for Android. You know, if you've uh, been watching um, any of the coverage on the Samsung Galaxy S3 release, you'll notice that um, uh, Flipboard for Android was released exclusively for the Galaxy S3 for a little while here. Um, so basically for the rest of us users, we're kind of, we've kind of been uh, left out in the dust, um, so to speak. But... A nice helpful XDA member, of course, we can count on our helpful XDA members, has actually released uh, the APK. Unfortunately, he didn't have enough time to gather the um, S voice. I don't know why you would have the Samsung Galaxy S3 and pull, you know, the Flipboard um, by itself without trying to pull S voice as well. But who knows? It might have something to do with the, um, you know, the uh, touch whiz and the framework and all that stuff. So, um, but. Anyways, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and show you how to um, get Flipboard. Now, I'm going to put a link in the description below to the XDA thread. Um, there's also instructions in there as well, but I noticed there's a lot of people on XDA still actually asking how to do it. Obviously, bypassing the um, the link that kind of gives you further instructions on how to do it. But, you know, that's fine. Not everybody understands. So, um... So, uh, like I said, I'll be posting a link in the description below. Um, you know, if your device allows side loading of applications, then you're going to uh, be able to do this. Um, if your phone doesn't allow side loading of applications, then you should probably Google it. If you don't know, Google it. See if you can do that to your device. But, uh, anyways, moving along. So, you'll go to the link. You'll download the APK, and um, which is at the bottom of the post, like all XDA threads. And... Um, and then you're just going to download it to your PC. Now, uh, myself personally, I use Google Drive, so you know, just find a way to push it to your SD card. Um, if you want to use the widget, which probably most of you will, you're going to need to install the APK to your internal storage. Um, if you do happen to install it to your external storage, which this will most likely do for me right now, um, then you can just, you know, if you have a custom ROM or something like that, you can just. Um, um, kind of move it over to your uh, internal storage and I'm sure you all know how to do that by now. Uh, so anyways, without further ado, again, uh, we'll go ahead, I'll jump into my Google Drive here and uh, you will see that the Flipboard APK is right there. We'll open that up and uh, of course I'll just install and we'll let that, okay, and we'll open it up and as you can see, welcome to Flipboard. Now this is literally the first time that I've done this, so um, from what I understand, we will be um, skipping, we'll say, uh, was it, uh, get started, and um, apparently there is a red ribbon that we need to click on, um, and we'll see what happens, building your flipboard. I suppose I could have picked some more of those things in the beginning, I'm assuming those are like news um, you know, topics. Okay, so there's the red ribbon once we've gotten to that screen. So we click on that. Now while we're in here, we will click on accounts and we can go ahead and uh, set up our Flipboard account. So we would create and uh, I will do that and just kind of cut the video really quickly so you guys don't have to watch that. Alright, so here we go. Um, I've signed up and everything and um, that's basically it. So I guess uh, from this point on, you are now set up, and you can go ahead and start exploring the application. Um, this is the first time I've ever used it. I didn't even know it existed with iPhone, obviously because I have an Android. So why the hell would I be paying attention to what they're doing, right? Um, anyways, that's it. So yeah, go and have fun, and give this video a thumbs up. See you guys. All right. So one more thing, guys. Uh, just for those of you that don't know how to move the. Um, application to your internal storage, um, just in case, some of you may not know. So what you'll be doing like I did there was, uh, you know, get into your settings, look, go down to applications, go to manage applications, uh, you'll be in the downloaded tab there, we'll go ahead and hunt Flipboard, I've already done this, click on Flipboard, and you'll notice there it says, um, for you, if it's on your SD card, it'll say, um, uh, move to phone. And if it's already on your phone, it'll say move to SD card. So if it says move to SD card, then that means it's already on your phone and you can add the widget. If it's if it says move to phone, then that means it's on your SD card. And the only way the widgets are going to be able to work is if it's on your internal storage. So that's when you would just press move to phone. It takes one second, literally, and then you will be able to have this widget here, which will then open up and, you know, 
Hi. Bye. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it. Okay, have fun.